What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this box, we have the brand new Nike Phantom GX2, and I want to hop straight into the unboxing. Here we go. So this is the Nike Phantom GX2, which is the successor to the GX1, which I have a pair of the many that I actually own of the GX1, which was one of the best football boot launches, well, in my opinion, the best of 2023. Absolutely sensational football boot. Now, you get a very basic Nike box. We're back to, even though despite this is technically a special edition Vortex colorway, uh, you have the silver box from Nike with the branding there. You have branding on this side, the Nike swoosh, of course, on that side, and then here we go. So you've got Phantom GX2 Elite in L, I think this is Elevate maybe, uh, firm ground, in the green glow and black colorway. These are a regular size nine US, a 10.5 in women's and a UK eight, 27 centimeters. Let's hop straight into the unboxing cause I gotta say, I've looked at photos of these. Oh my days, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Wow. So it looks almost like that coral foam type colorway that you could do on Nike ID. In fact, actually, let's do this. Because I have the boot wall behind me, I've got a pair down here of the custom Phantom GX DF. Now, we'll put these under, and it's a very similar color to that Nike ID kind of coral green. So, pretty cool, but I'll throw those to the side. What a fantastic pair of football boots. At least they look really cool. So this is, we'll go through all the tech specs in a sec. Let's actually get these unboxed. There you go, there's the right shoe. Nice. These do come with a string bag as well. So you get the Phantom with the GX slash Luna on it. Of course, the new Phantom GX2 and Luna 2 are essentially the same boot. They just have um, the uh, different little bit of a collar on the one. So let's throw this down there and then there we go. So there's your Phantom GX2. These are a really cool looking pair of football boots in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna go over all the tech specs and then we're gonna jump on feet and then of course you guys will see a play test very, very soon. So let's actually start off with what this boot is. So this is the Phantom GX2 and then the Luna 2 is the same exact football boot, same construction, same sole plate, same everything, except it's got the little collar on it similar to that Phantom GX1, so the DF model, right? So it's got that little bit of a collar and they basically just combine the two boots and similar to how what the Vapor is to the Superfly, the GX2 is to the Luna 2. Same concept there. So you get the Luna 1 sole plate for the FG model and then the AG model of this same football boot will actually have the AG sole plate from the GX1, which I also happen to have in my boot wall behind me. How convenient is that? So this is the uh, original, this is a Nike ID, another Nike ID pair that I wore all of throughout my championship run season with Flower City Union. This is the stud pattern. So you'll get this AG stud pattern on this pair of football boots for uh, the AG model of the new GX, which is pretty cool. So I'll throw those to the side quick. Um, and one thing to note as well, in the play test, we will be talking a lot about the way that the sole plate fits on AG pitches, on FG pitches, what's safe, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. You should know I am not beholden to any brand, which means I'm gonna say whatever the hell I want. So if I think these are excellent for AG and FG pitches, I will say that. I will also say if they're really trash for AG or FG pitches, just so you know. So these are a boot that I'm really excited about because of the way that the upper feels. Now, let's take this out and I want you guys just to have a look at how freaking soft that upper is. Now, this is a different construction from the GX1, which I have here. This is a flyknit underneath layer, which you see in the darker purple, and then this is grip knit with the high tenacity yarns. Now, what they've done with this, which is kind of interesting, is instead of going fully grip knit, like they did with the Luna that was quite stiff, they went with a combination of grip knit, they went with a combination of fly knit material here in the, the collar area and through that lacing system to give you a little more flex. And then they also use the high tenacity yarns to give you a little bit of structure 
And the combination of those three in a one piece upper, which is the big difference between these and the previous model, is that it gives you this unbelievably soft upper. In fact, I think this is almost, this toe box especially, I think is almost softer than uh, the previous generation GX1, which is super impressive. I know the GX1 will probably go down in most people's books as one of the better Nike football boots of all time. Uh, the introduction of Nike Grip Knit is a technology that I think actually works. It's, in my opinion, one of the best football boot technologies on the market uh, for things that integrate seamlessly into a user experience, which is awesome. The heel area has not been changed that much, although I do think the padding, maybe it's because these are new, uh, but the padding in the heel is a perforated suede material that feels nice and padded, doesn't give me any, um, there, there's no major updates to that heel area, which I think are great because on this previous generation, that heel area is fantastic, I think, for most people. And they do uh, have that same construction where they've cut out kind of that in the Achilles area where you have the internal heel counter that goes up that way, but then you still have a decent amount of flex through the back of that heel. And one of the things that I actually really enjoyed about this original model is that you did have the flexibility so that most heel types could fit in this football boot, which I think for the most part, when you're talking about football boots, heel blistering happens for a lot of different people. And so to have an option and to have a football boot that fits really seamlessly around most foot shapes, but then also has a heel area that has a little bit of padding. So it gives you kind of a nice cushioned lock it in feel, but does have the ability to kind of mold and just sort of get around whatever heel type you have. That is a huge thing, I think, from Nike. And it's just a subtle change from previous phantoms in that in this series that I think will be a welcome site for most people which is awesome. Other features of this boot that have changed, um, as I said, it is a similar off-center lacing system, which is nice, and then you do have these ridges that are in the upper. Now, this particular colorway is called the, I think it's called like the Vortex colorway or something. It's something about like a, you know, the story, whatever. It's just marketing it at some level. Uh, but these are the same type of grip knit ridges that you get that carry over from the Phantom Luna. So my hope is that, and, and I actually thought those little elements were nice, even though I thought the Luna was kind of a trash boot, I do think that the ridges on that upper were really nice and had a good grip sensation on the ball. The grippiness of this upper feels about equitable, maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit nicer. So these ones are, I've used a couple times, but they are definitely more brand new than the pink pair that I have. And I would say that uh, grip on the new Phantom GX feels maybe a little bit, I don't know, that's kind of hard to tell maybe, maybe a little bit less grippy. And I think part of that is because as this is a flat playing surface, you're gonna get a lot of, like all of the grip is available all the time. Whereas this one, you have the little ridges that sort of keep it from, you know, you only have a few contact points, if that makes sense. So again, overall as a product, I think this is a really interesting package and it, what it looks like from the flexibility upper, that looks a lot better for wider foot types in addition to it being a one piece upper, which I think is gonna be a really welcome site for a lot of wider foot shapes, which is awesome. I know that the uh, original Phantom GX was a boot that so many people loved, but the really wider foot shapes, especially here in this pointy toe box area, kind of struggled to break in. And I would say that I don't have a ton of break in time with these, but I definitely found that my toes got a little cramped at the beginning of every wear. And that's just something that I think a lot of people aren't accustomed to. Now, these boots are also a little bit higher volume, as you can see from the way that the upper is, you're gonna have probably a little more room in this toe area. And the beauty of having a one piece upper is that that's gonna flex and mold to the shape of your foot. So if you do have thinner foot shape, a thinner foot type, you might actually prefer the previous generation GX, but I would say overall for wider foot shapes, this will probably be a better option. Obviously that remains to be seen when we go out to the pitch and try these on, or probably in my backyard, and then we'll do the play test obviously out at the pitch. But I am very excited to try these on because I do think that this upper with how soft it is and the way that they've constructed this 
is actually going to be a pretty good product and I'm very, very excited. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video uh, for these Phantom GX2. I will also be reviewing the Luna 2 as well. So don't you worry, we'll get both boots there. Um, and I'm really just excited to see what they've done to this boot and if it is worth the upgrade from the GX1 or whether you should spend your money trying to hoard a bunch of GX1s. So let's hop into the on feet portion of the video. All right, fam, out here at the turf, just in my backyard now, we've got the absolutely fantastic looking GX2. I'm just getting the last bit of the laces sorted out here, and we'll get into the on-feet portion of the video. Very, very excited to try these on. I've heard very good things about the width of this football boot, which is a welcome sight for those of us who have struggled to get in most of the Nike silos. That is one thing that uh, I think the GX was just wide enough for my feet, um, but took a little bit of break in time. But once it was broken in, it was absolutely fantastic. So here we go. So there is the boots, really lovely looking. Um, this is an artificial pitch, obviously being in the backyard, but it does have a decent amount of length to it. So I will be able to give somewhat of a decent idea of uh, kind of the whether I recommend this boot on AG pitches or FG pitches. Now I am wearing grip socks. These are from WeFoot. Uh, you guys can get 20% off through a discount code. It really helps the channel as well. Um, and I have, re these are a, this is a company that I actually reached out to myself because I really love their products. This is the same uh, grip sock brand that sponsors the South Korean national team and they work directly with Hyunmin Sung who is uh, the Tottenham superstar. So very, very awesome. Uh, grip socks and they've got thin and thick ones as well. So go and check those out. Those will be like first link down in the description box below. So here we go. First impressions of trying on. Oh my days. Wow. Okay. So immediately noticeable is the extra width on the side. Those feel really nice on my feet. As most of you guys know, who have been viewers of the channel before, um, if you are new, then my feet are basically wide in the forefoot area in the midfoot. And then they get really thin starting about right there. And I will, I've got to say these like straight out of the box, no doubt in my mind, these fit better than the GX one. And I'm not just saying that like that's, that is, um, these fit fantastically well for uh, my wider feet. I'm super impressed with those. Definitely a little bit of bunch up of material right here. Um, they probably could do without that. I mean, that's a little bit annoying, um, but it is what it is. Like that's just part of that part of that striking surface collar there. But overall, I mean, look at how soft that upper is as well. Very, very nice grip knit. Let's get the other ones on feet and talk a little bit of more a little bit more about kind of the sole plate and how the sole plate fits and feels. Very, very impressed with straight out of the box comfort with these. Wow, honestly, a bit speechless. Um, they've nailed the shape of this in my opinion. And of course this is all subjective. So take this with a grain of salt. If you're somebody who has thinner feet, then the GX1 is probably a better option for you. Um, but I will say lockdown, uh, not lockdown, uh, but lock in, I would say. Lockdown will test in the, um, sort of in that on, on field play test action, but the lock in, as soon as you tie your laces tight is very, very good. I've got zero space here on the outside of the boot. So it really kind of, the laces are able to tie your foot tight, which is really nice tire foot right in there. No space on the outside of my left either. It looks like there's a little bit of bowing of the material that tends to happen with most football boots for me, especially because my feet have quite a bit of awkward shaping to them in a couple different areas. As I said before, um, feet are the widest up until about that point where that Nike swoosh starts and then it starts to get really thin. And so far there's really not a lot of slippage, at least in the heel area, as I kind of move around and pivot. Um, this is definitely a boot that I think I'm going to enjoy wearing. I have zero hot spots. This one piece upper, I think they've nailed it. Honestly, I think this upper is going to surprise a lot of people. And I know a lot of people had thoughts about potentially this being just an extension of the Luna and it was really disappointing, blah, blah, blah. Um, for those of you who have seen, I can't remember what play test it is, but in one of the play tests recently, I did a basically just a rant because I was like, stop talking about football boots that you've not tried on. 
so don't listen to what's online. Don't listen, like obviously I, I can give you my advice, but really, really important to make your own thoughts about football boots because everyone has different feet. So you can't just go into buying a football boot saying, well, I'm not gonna buy the new Luna 2 because it sucks and it's, you know, you don't know that. You've never tried it on, right? So um, honestly, for wider foot shapes, this is a better football boot and higher volume feet, this is a better football boot than GX1. Just from a shape perspective, it's definitely wider. Like immediately I noticed that. Like you can see these on feet, it is like, noticeably wider than that first generation. And I think that is really, really nice. I also really like the, the visual look of that striking surface, kind of where that vortex is right here on the midfoot. I think that looks sick. And I do think that's gonna provide quite a bit of, um, a little bit of extra kind of strike surface with no distractions, which is great. Touch on the ball is one thing that uh, I think a lot of you guys are interested in really, really barefoot feeling actually. The thinness and the softness of the upper does provide a really nice amount of feeling. I can feel it, I can feel the ball and I feel like I have total ability to manipulate the ball in any way that I would want to. We'll get into the play test. It'll probably be next video. So you guys, that's coming very, very soon. I wanted to get those that content out to you really quick. Um, so, but yeah, I mean the one piece upper, the difference between the GX1, GX2, as far as the upper goes. Obviously, we've talked about shape. Now, lockdown, I don't know yet because I haven't tested these. My guess is the lockdown might not be as snug as the first generation, just because the first generation was a two-piece upper. You had the grip knit over top of the fly knit. And so, I, I'm just gonna imagine that that's gonna be a little bit better for like performance lockdown. We'll see and we'll make that conclusion in the playtest video, but that's just my, that's just my guess. That's just my two cents. Um, the heel area is gonna stay pretty much the same, I would guess as well throughout this entire testing phase as well. Um, the heel hasn't changed other than it being a perforated suede instead of a non-perforated suede in the GX. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, the main question you guys are probably asking, how's the sole plate? Well, underfoot, it actually doesn't feel all that bad. Um, I, this is a, this is like a backyard turf. So this isn't even like a playing turf. This isn't a turf that they would like slap on to a field so that you could play with. Although it is pretty decent if I'm honest. Um, it feels more like just a fake grass carpet essentially, um, but it is really great for testing boots and stuff. But I would say that uh, pivot power, as you guys can see here, is decent um, for an AG pitch. Do I recommend them just from a safety perspective? Probably not, especially as you see these kind of studs right here in that Vortex, that Cyclone 360, especially these top two studs and then just the, the lateral studs, you're really not gonna get a whole lot of uh, adjustability as you plant your foot and you wanna pivot and turn. Um, so I would probably, especially on a traditional AG pitch, so I'd probably recommend going with the AG model of these boots. I'm gonna be getting an AG pair in very, very soon, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, depending on shipping times and stuff. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. And that's those are the boots that I'll probably be playing with the predom uh, predominantly um, as I start doing some of the testing and stuff, because I do play mostly from boot, a boot test perspective on the AG pitches, um, but we'll do some, I might do an FG uh, play test with these ones just for uh, shits and gigs kind of basically. So um, that's kind of all the features of this football boot. To be honest, I'm really impressed with the way the GX2 fits for wider foot types huge thumbs up from me, honestly. Like it is, the, the fit and the feel of this boot is really, really nice. As you can see, tons of flexibility and tons of ability to wiggle my toes, which is awesome. It doesn't feel too cramped as well, which I think the GX1, for those of us who are wider foot shapes, um, the GX1 was just a little bit cramped. Um, as you guys know from my own playing and the games and watching game analysis and kind of hearing my own thoughts, I wore the GX all season basically for Flower City last year and they were great. It took a little bit of break in time, but 
once broken in, I, GX1 is definitely going to be in my top 10 of all time. Um, and I will say that I would probably, and I love the AG plate, which is the one that's going to show up on this new generation of AG boots as well. So my hope is that the AG model of this boot is going to be awesome. But honestly, not a whole lot of complaints when it comes to the sole plate, at least right now. Let's see when we get onto an FG pitch. I'm going to really do my best to make the play test on a natural grass surface so you guys can get a better idea of like you know what that feels like with what this boot is meant to this boot is meant to be played with fg especially in this cyclone 360 pattern so for me it's a huge win um, at least for out of the box comfort and touch on the ball is awesome i thought you know again like i've only done a little bit of juggling here in the backyard but it really does a fantastic job of uh seemingly wrapping your foot and making it a um really nice one-to-one -one kind of sock-like sensation and it does feel more barefoot just objectively than the gx1 which is pretty cool so um, no complaints honestly i other than the sole plate maybe um, but so far super comfy really really nice fit and feel for me as a wider foot shape and i am very very pumped to get some proper use out of these and uh, get into the play test. So without further ado, I think that's going to be it for the review for today. Stay tuned for the play test, which I'm hoping is going to be next video. So stay tuned for that. That'll be on Friday, um, USA time, Saturday, Australia time in the morning. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. As I said before, first link down in the description box below will be for um, the Wii Foot socks. And then depending on where you guys are in the world, you can check out Ultra if you're in Australia, soccer.com, if you're in America, ProDirect, Unisport, if you're in, um, if you're in Europe, and uh, yeah, you can pick up a pair for yourself, because I do think for those of you who are wider foot shapes, these are going to be sick. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.